What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin and today we're coming in with a banger of a video, an absolute hoot and a holler. In today's video, we're talking about how I just accidentally ate 4 grams of shrooms on 420. I really mean it was an accident. Other times, normally it's I accidentally ate more than I intended. This time, I didn't even know I was taking shrooms. So, Hope you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like if you do, screw the intro, without further ado, let's dive right into it. So before we actually talk about the trip, I think it's important for me to explain how I accidentally ate 4 grams. You see, this happened the morning of 420. In fact, my last video where I faced 3 J's took place right before I accidentally ate the bar. You see, at the time of filming that video, it was like 4 or 5 in the morning. I was getting started early, and I was ready to rumble. After I had gotten done filming that video, I was planning to go to bed because I had been awake all night. Now, I had some extra edibles left over that I had gotten from Delta Munchies, so... I figured that I was just going to eat the extra edible that I had. I had an extra chocolate bar laying out and go straight to bed. It was a 500 milligram edible, so it was nowhere near the highest dose that I had ever done. The highest dose I've ever done was over 4,000 milligrams. So I was not really all that concerned. I figured I was just going to eat this edible and sleep like a baby, you know? Wonderful start to my 420. Now, this edible was a chocolate bar as was a couple of the shroom bars that I have. Here's where it gets complicated, though. You see, I'm an idiot, and I like taking the packaging off of things. You know, I feel it's just extra. Might as well take the packaging off and throw it away. I'll remember what it is. You know, organized mess kind of thing. Now, both the chocolate bars were in a silver plastic packaging. So from the outside, they looked exactly the same. It was like 6 in the morning, so not only was I extremely tired, but I was also really faded because I had just faced three joints in that video. So I was cooked. My brain was fried like an egg. And I just impulsively grabbed the first silver shiny container I saw and ate the entire chocolate bar. I didn't even consider the flavor was different. I didn't even consider. I didn't even look at what I was consuming. I was just like, this is the silver container. This is the silver plastic. It must be the chocolate bar, you know? Let's go for it. And it was a chocolate bar, but it was not the 500 milligram edible I was expecting. Instead, this chocolate bar had four grams of shrooms in it, and I ate the entirety of it. Now, prior to this, my highest ever shroom dosage was lower than this. My highest ever dose was about three and a half grams, and that was all the way back in high school. Since then, I've been dabbling in shrooms. You know, I've taken two grams. I've taken closer to three, but I've never done a dose this high, and I'm telling you right now, that extra gram or, or gram or two makes a big difference on the effects. Holy hell. So after I ate what I thought was the edible, I just went to bed because that was my plan. The 500 milligrams, you see, I have an extremely high edible tolerance. The 500 milligrams isn't necessarily enough to get me blasted, but it will get me high. So I was planning to just sleep like a baby. You know, I didn't really want to stay up and wait for the effects to hit. Screw it, dude. It's 420. We're doing it the right way. I'm high in my sleep, my guy. So I eat this edible and I go to bed. It's like six in the morning at this point. I knock out. Now I jolt up out of my sleep three hours later. I remember I woke up and I checked my phone and it was like 9 15 in the morning. And I had this awful stomach ache. You see, shrooms ruin my stomach every time. I vomit very often off the shrooms. I don't know what it is, but if I'm eating, you know, for example, a chocolate bar that has ground up shrooms in it. I'm going to puke. If I'm eating just straight up shrooms, I'm going to puke, right? It's just how they sit. My body's not fucking with it. So I had woken up and I was extremely nauseous. And at this point, I didn't really notice that I was tripping yet. I felt really weird, but I just kind of thought I was violently stoned. So I got up and I go to the bathroom and I yacked immediately, dude. The first thing I did was I threw up, but it was weird because I didn't like... It wasn't a very hard throw up. I was kind of dry heaving. You know, we're not going to get too descriptive with my vomit, but just know it, I've done worse for sure. But I was just so overwhelmed with my stomach ache and how stoned I felt. I, I still just thought I was stoned. I was sitting there and I was on the bathroom floor as I was, you know, leaning over the toilet. And that's when I started to notice the visuals. I have this carpet, this little rug on my bathroom floor, and it's got these like 
it's a very fluffy carpet, and, you know, it's got a lot of little threads sticking up out of it, and I'm looking down at this carpet as I'm laying on the ground, and I realize it looks alive. The different little threads in this carpet, they're standing out more than the others. It looks like it has more texture than normal, and everything on the carpet is moving. It looked almost like the carpet was some sort of forest, and there was trees blowing through each of the threads. I couldn't believe it, and there was air blowing through each of the threads. Pardon me, not trees. I don't know. I'm kind of faded right now, but either way, so I'm looking at this this little rug I have, and I am just amazed by it. I keep leaning back over to the toilet and then back over to the rug just to look at it. And I'm sitting there, and then I realize, I was like, dude, I've never had visuals like this off an edible before. I still, at this point, had no idea that I had taken shrooms. I didn't figure it out until later, right? So at this point, I was still under the impression that I was just stoned, that I'm sitting there, and I'm like, damn, man. Maybe I'm really a bitch now, like, I can't handle these edibles anymore, you know? I've eaten way higher doses than this, and this put me on my ass. So I'm sitting there, and I'm like, damn, man, this is terrible, you know? Like, I'm really a coward now. I can't make my edible videos anymore. I was kind of feeling defeated on this bathroom floor. I was like, wow, this sucks. I can't handle it anymore. I'm a pussy. So I'm just sitting there, and I kept trying to power through it. I was like, no, bring it together. Bring yourself together. Come on, like, you got this shit. Finally, I stopped feeling so nauseous, and I got up off the bathroom floor, and I was not tired at all, which was really, really weird to me, because I'd eaten edibles right before bed plenty of times before, and more often than not, I would just wake up after a full night's sleep and still be faded, right? Hey, mid-video plug, man, real quick, go follow me on Twitter, ladies and gents, and Instagram, Twitter at the Goblin with three N's, Instagram at the GBLN. YouTube's been trying to mess with me, dude, I don't know how long I'm going to be around, so make sure you follow me on other platforms, linked in the description below. Back to the video. But I woke up after three hours, and I didn't feel tired at all, and it really threw me off. I was sitting there, and I was like, what is in this shit? So I went back into my computer room, and I still had the label for it just laying on my desk, right? I didn't have the bag, but I had the label for it laying on my desk. And the label said it was only 500 milligrams of Delta 9 and a couple other things. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, dude, that is not enough to get me fucked up. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, did they lace this shit? And I had this like conspiracy going in my head. Bro, this beat my ass so bad. I almost wrote an email to Delta Munchies and told them to never give me anything from them again. Little did I know this was not their fault. So I'm so sorry. I never sent the email. Thank God. But I was cooking it up. So I sit down at my computer and I just try to collect myself. I hop on some games and I just, I can't function. Like, I could not think hard enough to do anything in a video game. I launched RuneScape and I died like four times trying to kill the same one monster and I just logged out. Gave up on that super fast. And as I was sitting at my computer, it almost looked like the monitor was trying to suck me in. Like, the light coming out of the monitor was almost surrounding me. I felt like I could look away from the monitor and I could still see the light coming off it projecting through my room almost like sunlight beams you know it looked like my vision had ray tracing fuck Nvidia if I want an RTX I'm gonna just get some shrooms you know what I'm saying so I'm sitting there with my new RTX vision tripping balls everything around me is moving the light penetrating the window right behind my computer is just bleeding through like I got flash banged and I, went, I remember I looked out my window and the weather just looked so crazy. And I went and stood on my balcony in nothing but my underwear. Luckily, I'm on the top floor of my building. So there's no one below me that or no one above me or really anyone that could see me from the ground. You know, I'm pretty high up. But I'm standing out there in nothing but my underwear, just admiring the weather. I'm looking at the trees. I'm looking at the sky. And it was weird because... Normally, you know, when the sun's out, it's got almost kind of yellowish hue to everything, you know? But today, it, it looked very white, you know? It, it looked different. It almost looked like Jesus was coming up from heaven. He had parted the clouds, and he was going to reach down and grab my dumb ass, right? So I'm looking up, and I'm like, all right, Jesus, my time has come. I guess I'm this is it. This is what dying feels like. I was at the point where I really actually thought I was dying because... I did not know that I'd taken shrooms. Still to this point, I did not figure out that I'd made a mistake and ate the shroom bar. Now, I went back inside after chilling on the balcony for 
I would say a good 30 minutes. And at this point, it had fully hit me. It took a couple minutes for me to get completely overwhelmed after coming inside, but holy shit. I couldn't even stand anymore because everything around me was moving. This was the single most intense visual experience off shrooms that I've ever had. Everything kept changing with style of movement. You know, first things were kind of wavy. Then things were twisting up, almost like there was some sort of cyclone inside of the object I was looking at. Then it changed and it started looking like everything was pulsing, right? Right? And everything was just changing around me so much that I was getting really overwhelmed. So I walked back into my room with my computer in it. And I laid on the floor. I literally just laid stomach down on the carpet. And I was really cold for some reason. I was cold sweating really hard. So I turned on a heater and I faced it towards me. And I just laid on the floor of my room for probably a good hour just trying to collect myself. And honestly, doing that really helped a lot. Now, I was still sitting here saying to myself, there's no way this edible is this strong. Like, there's no way. Like, I, I, I got to be able to handle this. Like, I got to man the fuck up, suck it up. There's no way I'm getting visuals off the edible right now. Like, this is fucking with me, you know? So I'm laying on the floor and I'm on my phone just messing around, trying to watch some videos, you know, calm me down a little bit. And I don't really remember what exactly I ended up watching while I was laying on the ground. But as I was in my notes app on my phone a couple days after this incident, I found this written there. And I, I don't know what kind of goon shit I was planning or why I needed $10,000 in cash, but this is the only thing I have written down from that day. So it was about 1 p.m. as I was laying on the floor, and I know that because that was really the only time that I spent a lot of time on my phone during this. I had spent some time laying on the ground, and finally I got back up and I walked into my bedroom. Now, as I was standing in my bedroom, this is when I realized the mistake I had made. You see... These two shrew these two chocolate bars I had, they were different flavors as well. And I guess when I ate this one before going to bed, I just didn't pay any attention to what it tasted like. I was like, fuck it. I had literally just faced three joints. So my taste buds were out the window. They were covered in gas, you know? So I walked back into my room and on my TV stand is sitting one unopened silver plastic container with a chocolate bar in it. Then on my nightstand is sitting one opened silver plastic container with just a little corner piece of chocolate left, right? A very, like not even one whole piece. There was half of one of the cubes left in this container of the shroom bar. Now I go over to my nightstand and I look in that bag and there's still that little half piece and I notice that it doesn't look the same as the edible I had eaten before, the other one that I had eaten during the video. They had sent me two of the same chocolate bar. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, bro, what the fuck? And I, I go over to my TV stand and I grab the other silver bag that I have and I open it. And that's when I realized that these two chocolate bars were different. I had just kind of forgotten that I took the shroom bar out of the bag. It had been out of the bag for a long time. Or it, not out of the bag, pardon me. It had been out of the box that it came in for a long time. And the bag itself had zero labeling whatsoever. There was no indication of anything. So after opening that second unopened silver bag that was on my TV stand and realizing that that was actually the edible that I meant to eat, it had hit me. And I immediately scrambled to find the box for this thing. And luckily, I have a few of these chocolate bars. So I found one that I still had in a box. And I looked at the box and I'm reading the dosage and it says four grams. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, damn, damn. I accidentally ate four grams of shrooms. And then at first I was a little worried. And then after I realized what I had eaten, I was feeling kind of proud of myself. I was like, yeah, I ate four grams. That's the most I've ever done. I like gave myself a little pat on the back. I was like, look at me. I did it. We broke my shroom record. So after that, I was vibing. I don't know why the realization of it being shrooms made me feel so much better and made me feel so happy. But as soon as I knew what was going on to me, I was just like, ah, I knew I could still handle the edible, man. I knew I wasn't a bitch, dude. It, I just felt such an overwhelming sense of joy, dude. My emotions were going crazy. I almost wanted to shed a tear. I was so happy once I realized what I had done. So after that, I was like, okay, well, I mean, 
I'm just tripping, you know, this will probably be over kind of soon. I ended up tripping balls until like 4 p.m. that day, and after, this was about 1.30 p.m. when I had discovered my air, so, no, I didn't stop tripping until like 5 or 6, actually, it was later than 4, I, I was definitely still tripping at 4, but... After I had made the discovery of what I had done, I just felt an overwhelming sense of relief. I was chilling hard, dude. So I was trying to figure out what to do with myself. And originally, I was supposed to drive up to Chicago on 420 and attend an event. There was a little stoner brunch kind of thing that I was supposed to go to. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, there's no way in hell I'm going to that event right now. Even if I got an Uber, dude, that's going to be sensory overload. Too many people around. I can't hold a conversation off this shit so I'm sitting there and I'm like damn man I don't know what to do with my time so I sit down and I sit at my desk and I literally I shit you not I watched the most absurd documentaries for like two hours straight I was watching roller coaster theme park documentaries dude I could tell you more about the history of Walt Disney than most other people. Shout out Defunct Land, dude. That shit held me down during the trip. I learned a lot of fun facts. I was just watching random information. Like, for example, did you know that in the past, furniture stores used to share space with undertakers? They used to embalm bodies in the back of furniture stores back in the early 1900s. I'm not even kidding. That was like, like a common practice back then. Just crazy random facts I would not know if it weren't for the eye-opening shroom dose that I accidentally consumed. At this point, the visuals were kind of starting to calm down a little bit. You know, I was really overwhelmed when I had first first woken up and for those first few hours, but now I was really just starting to vibe, you know, the colors around me were really looking good, the sky had stopped looking so white and pale, and the weather outside started looking really bright and beautiful, and I was just in such a good mood, I was honestly glowing at this point, I was just the happiest motherfucker ever, I was texting random people and family members that I hadn't spoken to in a minute, and just, just banging their line, just asking how their day went, that, this edible, this shroom dose made me a better person, dude. And initially, I thought it was just a 500 milligram edible, but I'm very glad that I now know it was the four grams of shrooms because it makes me very comfortable with the upcoming 5,000 milligram edible that I'm about to eat for a video. But after chilling for a bit, after the realization of what I had done, you know, I, I felt a lot better, and I, I just kind of came down very smoothly. You see, I've said this plenty of times before, but honestly, my favorite part of tripping on shrooms is the come down. The afterglow is crazy. You're in an amazing mood all day. Even the next day, you're vibing. So... I was feeling really, really good for the entire rest of the day, but after I started coming down and the visuals chilled out, literally, I just sat there and played video games. So, not much that's more eventful to share. The most eventful part was the morning when I was face down in my bathroom thinking that I was about to meet God. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.